Right. Take the belly off now. Right now. But you're wrong. You don't understand. I was simply looking for information. That's it. I just wanted to know the reason I had the miscarriage. I'm not buying it. If that were so, everyone would have known by now. Uh... I swear I will. Uh, I will get treatment. I'm having Dennis's baby. The doctor told me that I'll be able to get pregnant soon. I... I just can't tell the Dobrovolskys about the miscarriage. Not right now. I mean, it would kill Katerina Ivanovna and Hiryori Markovich, who's got a heart condition. I'm begging you, please don't tell anyone. I can't have anybody know, okay? Dennis must not know. I'll do anything you want me to. Do you want a car? Or an apartment? I could buy you a two-room apartment, you want that? Well, what is it? I'll get down on my knees if you want me to. Come on, sister, please. I'm begging you. Don't blow my cover, please. <laughs> no. You know, I look at you and I can't help thinking. I don't even have to blow your cover. You're digging your own grave, stubbornly and blindly. Thank you, sister. <laughs> All right, I won't tell anyone. Not for now. But you're not staying here in this house. You have to leave. Forget the artificial insemination. If I find out you're getting that without Dennis and his family knowing, I guarantee you, I won't hesitate to tell them everything. She was snooping through my laptop. Imagine that! I had it all figured out. I just had to go to Kiev to solve this problem and that's it. I'd already have had the baby by now. She just had to step in, didn't she? Oh, Anna, you're home. Good, because I brought you something delicious. Thanks, I'm not eating right now. I'm going back to the Drobovolskis, that's it. I've come here to visit and warn out my welcome. Have you been crying? Tell me what happened. I'm fine. I don't understand. Is Dennis taking you back? Stop, you're not supposed to do any heavy lifting. As soon as I'm back at that house, they'll start it again. All touchy-feely, here comes the belly. Let's go to the doctor together. Show us your test results. Um, no. They won't let me have artificial insemination in peace. Well, my dear sister, you thought you would ruin my plans. I'm determined things will go my way, not yours. <sighs> I'll find a way. I just need to have the insemination process performed. I don't care who the donor is. So, let's see what they have abroad, shall we? The Herzalia Medical Clinic, a multi-profile establishment where patients are offered consultations, advanced and non-invasive treatments. They have antenatal classes and also offer artificial insemination. The popularity of the Herzalia Medical Clinic lies especially upon its beautiful location, 
on its location on the Mediterranean coast. That's exactly what I need. I've already completed some of the tests. The first thing I'll need to do now is convince Dennis, naturally. He just has to let me go abroad to Israel. Mom, are you trying to kill yourself? You know you shouldn't strain your eyes by sewing so much. Yes, but I'm almost done. I want it to be finished with a dress with plenty of time before Anna's return. Good day, everyone. Anna. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy to see everybody. You've decided to come back. Oh. We're very glad to see you. Uh, you're not supposed to lift heavy stuff, are you? You should have called us first. We'd have helped you with that. Oh, your belly. <laughs> it's bigger. <laughs> Anna, my dear, this time I promise you, I'm on my best behavior. I won't annoy you anymore with any of my unsolicited advice or lectures. I promise this. <laughs> Anna, you've come back. Oh, oh. oh wait. <gasps> I'm telling you, it's a boy, and not just a boy, it's a giant. Such a big belly so early in your pregnancy. The fetus is very, very big. Look, Anna, you're so fragile. I strongly believe that you should have a C-section. Zana! But... I haven't had roller skates on since Boston. This is so cool. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Oh, are you sure you've ever roller skated? <laughs> yeah, I used to think I could do anything. Until I put on... This isn't tree climbing, obviously. <laughs> Kids with these things on ride around so fast. It makes your ears hey, ring. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. <gasps> Look, how about we take I'm a break? I'm not tired yet. But I am. <laughs> okay, then. Carefully sissy. now, sissy. <laughs> oh. Wait a sec. Oh, Whoops. Oh, wait. Whoop. Whoop. There you go. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm never putting roller skates on again. No way. It won't last. Huh? It'll pass. Now try to imagine it, out of space. A spaceship rushes through the black void to the only planet that can sustain life. There they establish a human colony. And so, Carolina Rihorivna? Uh, <clears throat> we were, uh, we were just going to the movies. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> I swear you just can't hide anywhere in this city. Uh-huh. Here I am, trying to kiss the general producer of the television channel. Maybe she's trying to kiss you. <laughs> Honey, are you back already? As soon as I heard, it took everything for me to stay till work ended. <laughs> Hello? Mm. May I touch? I'll be gentle. Of course you can touch. <laughs> By the way, thank you so much for the beautiful cradle for our baby. It was so thoughtful of you. <sighs> you know the decision to stay with my mother was such a terrible one. My sister was just unbearable. I don't know what I was thinking. By the way, I have to tell you, there's a resort exclusively for pregnant women. And you want to go? Aren't you feeling well? No. I'm all right. It's just that my counseling doctor recommended the resort to me. Mm. Besides, I like the idea that it's in Israel on the Mediterranean coast. In Israel? Yeah. They prepare women for the delivery really well. There are many different um, treatments for pregnant women. Massages. And there are a lot of swimming pools. They offer some special gymnastics for pregnant women, so that the delivery could go much smoother for me. The staff is really professional here. Here you go. I really want to go there, even if it's just for a month. I called them. They have vacancies. It says here, it's a clinic, not a resort. Mm, yeah, it is a clinic. But one can have recreation time there, while they prepare for the delivery. 
Honey, please try to understand me. You can see how scared I am. I've heard all sorts of stories of accidents during deliveries. <laughs> all right. Then you and I can both go. Mm. We'll prepare for the baby together. <laughs> uh, when did you plan on going? Mm, tomorrow, if I can. Besides, the doctor did say the sooner the better. No, I can't go any sooner than in two weeks. We're launching a new facility, and... Um... Mm, that's mm. too bad. Then I can go on my own. Afterwards, you can join me. In a week or two, I'll be waiting for you. No, it's just that I, um, I don't want you to be traveling alone. Maybe I can talk to Mom or to Grandma. They might want to go with you. Honey, I'm sorry, but I... I just want some time. With you, or alone by myself. Okay? Here you go. I wonder whether Anna is going to like the things I've made for the baby. I really don't see how she couldn't. They're all so adorable. Right. Uh, have you seen Anna's bump already? Yes, I have. Of course I've seen it. I'm telling you, I think it's a baby boy. Then let it be a... Oh, a boy bump. Yes, a boy bump. What's wrong with that, Katarina Ivanivna? Oh, Anna, really, uh, did get quite a bump. Oh dear, oh dear, now I'm thinking, what if I was wrong about the size of the dress? Maybe I should have made it a bigger one. Oh no. It's the boys that grow really fast. Oh dear. It's a fact. Some surprise I gave her. I stitched and I stitched. Look at where that got me. Uh, uh, but Katarina Ivanivna, Anna can fit it right now. She definitely can wear it. And then later on you can sew her a new one, right? I don't sew. How many times do I have to say it? I stitch. I take something already made and then stitch. Right, you just stitch. I'm telling you it'll be even better than this one. And now let's have some tea. I agree with you. You're absolutely right. What I'll do is take an even bigger dress and then sew a better one. I'm so relaxed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Petro and I went to the registry office again today. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mama Oya, you should also have a mask on. It really feels amazing. When Petro and I went to the registry office today, the clerk there told us that she's worked there for 20 years and she prophesied couples that cancel their marriage registration and then come back again have the strongest marriages. What do you say to that? That's wonderful. My Petro is working so hard at the construction site. He's lost a little weight. He looks exhausted. Your poor exhausted Petro. If he hadn't taken things for granted, maybe he would not be so exhausted or poor. He'd be in his warm kitchen now. He doesn't take things for granted. Lyubo, would you give me a break from your precious Petro? Hello. Hi, darling. Why are you back so late? Hey. Anna went to the Dobrovolskys. That was a good call. I'm not having dinner. Good night. Did Yana have a fight with Andri? Mm, or maybe with Anna. Ooh. Honey, are you coming? Yeah, I'll be right there, honey. Lie down now and get some rest. If Dennis finds out, he's never going to forgive me. No, I've thought it all through. 
Flight tomorrow, then the clinic, and that's it. I'm pregnant. Nobody will ever find out. And you, my dear sister, I'll deal with you later. As long as I don't get caught, I just have to survive one night. And by tomorrow night, I won't even be here. Sweetheart, I want it. No. No, no. I can't do it. Dennis. Dennis. Darling, please listen. Listen to me. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. <clears throat> Tell me what's going on with you, Yana. Nothing's going on. How are things at work? Everything is fine. Nothing to talk about. No, it's not fine. Why was she calling Dennis in her sleep? What's going on between them? And in what way is it related to Anna leaving us? Mommy, is there something you want to say? Yes, there is. Yana, please talk to me. You'll feel better. And so will I. Like I said, there's nothing to say. Everything's all right. I don't know why she won't open up to me. The wedding with Andre was postponed. Nobody even remembers it anymore. Anna and Dennis are fighting all the time. Could it be that there's something between Yana and Dennis? Please, no. I can't believe that. Are they having an affair? Mom, I think something's burning in the kitchen. The porridge. The porridge is burned. Couldn't you find a similar resort right here in Ukraine? Exactly. Why must it be so far away? Actually, the medicine over there is among the best in the world. What does medicine have to do with it? They are talking about a resort. Anna is healthy. At least that's what we've been told. Listen, please stop fighting. We've already decided. Tickets and reservation are booked. Anna and I are going to work now. She has to delegate her workload at the department. Tonight we go to the airport. In that case, you should go with her. Grandma, I can't do that now. I'll be able to join her eventually. 
Are you listening to him? I can't believe what I'm actually hearing. Mother, launching a new facility at the factory is not a joke. Dennis has to stay to do it all. It will need proper supervision. Not a joke. Oh, you mean the pregnant wife is a joke. And the baby inside her, that too, is a joke. They've made their decision. And they didn't bother to tell us yesterday. <sighs> you people are just... All right, we have to go. Let them do what they think is right for them. But there are gunfights there. Mother, calm down. Where Anna will be staying, there will be no gunfights. I'm off to work now. I'll see you. <sighs> I'm saying five. And I'm telling you it's seven. Look, we got this assignment. We were instructed to dig a trench, right? Half a meter wide, and the length would be five to seven meters. It's five. Seven. Five. Why do we do the maximum? So why do the minimum? I'm going to see the foreman right now and ask him how long the trench is really supposed to be. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Mr. Petrovich, can I have a moment of your time? Hello. Hello to you, Luba Romadivna. Do you know where Petro is? Uh, Petro! Petro went to collect our bonus. You see, we broke every record there was today. The higher-ups decided to give us a bonus. Mm -hmm. Well, good for you then. Bravo, boys. I'm happy for you. Luba. Hi. Hey there. Hello. I've brought you something to eat for lunch. Oh? I'm hungry as a wolf. I'll go wash my hands first. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've been talking too much. You were being lazy, the foreman told me. And if you and I don't dig that trench seven meters deep by this evening, they're gonna fine us. Such hard workers we are. Go wash your hands. I have enough borscht for the two of you. Dennis. Darling, please listen. Listen to me. I'm back for work. Petro sends everybody his regards. So that's how it's going to be, Olya. Fiuba, I overcooked the dumplings. We're also out of those dishes with mushrooms and potatoes. I've already taken an order from table five. What a All mess. right, don't panic. I'll go and talk to them. If we're lucky, they'll order something else. Mm -hmm. Hi, good day. Soriana, what would you call this? Mm. You didn't keep an eye on it. That's because my eye was in the main hall. After all, I can't be in two places at once. All right. Emergency, we have our regulars at table two, and instead of dumplings with potatoes, they're all demanding Petro's specials. What are we going to do? <sighs> Petro is breaking his back right now, all for peanuts. We're helpless without him. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. We just can't do it without Petro. People come to try his specials, and what do we offer? All right, calm down, girls. I'll talk to the customers. Oh, no, don't. I'll do it. I could offer them. A free drink. I'll tell them it's today's special. I could talk to them into ordering some other kind of dumpling. I think it can actually work. Once, at least. Hello? Hello. Hello. I'm just here today to hand you my cases, all my drafts. I'm going on a trip and my flight is tonight. Wait, are you allowed to fly? Where will you be going? That's nice. When can we expect you back? That's a secret for now. You'll find out eventually. Come on, tell us where. We're curious. A resort for pregnant women. Herzalia Medical in Israel. Herzalia? Let's see. Nice. 
Oh, it's really pretty here. Hmm. Hmm? That's some resort you're going to. The accounting department has signed everything. Mm-hmm. Hey there, sis. Hey there, sis. Thank you, Anna. I've received your files already. All right. I'll be seeing you, everyone. You have a good trip. <laughs> Thank you. Just be sure to come back. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Excuse me, but what trip is this? Look, see where she's going to go. Nice, isn't it? Consulting and diagnostics. Artificial insemination. Anna! Wait up. What do you want? I see you've decided to go to a clinic in Israel so no one gets in your way, am I right? You're getting pregnant there, are you? I wonder who the father would be. That's none of your business. <laughs> Actually, it is. Yes, I'm going there. Dennis will take me to the airport. He believes I could use the rest. You're lying. Dennis thinks you're pregnant, so he doesn't actually know where you're going. Oh, what if I told him about the miscarriage right now? He might be interested. You wouldn't dare. Watch me. Hello, Yana. Hello. Hi, honey. Mm. <laughs> Did you delegate your cases? Yeah, yeah, we can go right now. Dennis, uh, I have something to tell you. It's pretty important. If it's about work, not today. We're rushing. If it's something important, bring it up with my assistants. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're both just in time for lunch. Why don't we sit and have lunch before you go? Oh, Anna. I am so worried about you, my dear. Grandma, please don't worry. I'll be joining Anna in a few days. And remember, you can talk to her every day on video calls. And that's true. With today's technology, you won't even feel the distance between our Anna and this house. Oh, I will. I really will feel it. Here, Anna's dress is ready. Give it to her. Mine, really? Mm. <laughs> it's so pretty. You mean you like it? Really, Anna? You, in that case, why don't you try it on? To tell you the truth, I'm nervous about the size. What, what if it's too tight? Right now? Why not right now? Do it for me. Try it on. All right. Dennis, dear, please tell me again. What's so special about that resort in Israel that we don't have right here? Well, they have qualified specialists. They That's prepare good. pregnant women for delivery. Mm. They also have very good... Mother, it's not so much a resort as it is a clinic. It's right there on the internet. They even have super yoga classes just for pregnant women. Oh, I almost forgot. Jana, there's, there's a clasp on the back of the dress. Anna won't be able to manage it alone. Oh, I'll go up and help her. I'll be the one. How do I fasten this damn dress? Excuse me, Anna. May I come in? Okay. Oh, I knew that would happen. I knew you wouldn't be able to handle this class by yourself. Sorry about that. I promise you the next dress that I make you We'll have a proper class placed on the front. <sighs> You're such a pretty girl. It suits you very well, and I, and I chose just the right size. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on, let's go show off this dress to everyone, to the family. <laughs> Come along. Oh, my goodness. You're such a pretty girl, really. You're so pretty that it's painful to even look at you, my dear. My precious girl, come on, come on. 
they're waiting for us. Let's go. I'd like to lie down for a bit. I need to have some rest before the long you trip. You will lie down and get some rest, I promise you. But now let's go. They're waiting for you. We need to show them the dress right now. Come along, come along. Come with me, my dear child. Come with me. What fell? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's going on? They've been there for a while. Anna still has to pack. Let's give them a little more time. Mom put in so much energy and love in that dress. Mm, for girls trying on a new dress, it's just like catnip for cats. <laughs> I can imagine Grandma making her walk a catwalk. <laughs> I'll go fetch them. Okay. What is that? Give it here. Give me that thing right now. You got it all wrong. It's only a maternity belt, I swear to God. What maternity belt? Give it to me. Give me that thing. Oh, God. What? How come? How could maternity belt? This is no Who's maternity you belt. So this, We're this. still waiting. She was wearing this. Downstairs. She said it was a maternity belt. Do you know what this is? Do you realize? Huh? Uh, Take it. Look. Mom, please calm down. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Son, this thing is your pregnant wife's belly. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Mother. Where is she? What's that? <coughs> oh. Open this door! Oh, my goodness. I, I can explain everything. You will explain everything. Let's go. I treated her like family. I treated her like my own flesh and blood. Oh, Risha. Mother. Oh. Oh. I'm oh. so, I'm so very, very sorry. But you were pregnant. Yes, I was pregnant, but I had suffered a miscarriage. Oh. Mother. Valeria, call an ambulance now. Sana, water. Mother. Mother. Oh, oh my goodness. How is Grandma doing? They think it was a stroke. I'm sorry, Dennis. I swear to you, I didn't want to lie to anybody. As usual. I really wanted to tell you the truth, but I was... I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. That's all very interesting. Tell me one thing, will you? How could you pretend to be pregnant after you lost the child? I was terrified you would all hate me. I really thought you would blame me for... for the baby's death. I was the baby's father. But I didn't know it was dead. Tell me, Anna, did you find it amusing? Whenever I touched your fake belly? When I read books to a baby that wasn't there, was that funny? Well, was it? The number you're trying to reach is unavailable. Please try again later. <sighs> My sister must be at the clinic already. Getting ready for her new pregnancy. I can't keep quiet any longer. I have to tell Dennis about his baby. He has to know. Because I... I was afraid to say anything. I didn't want anybody to get hurt by the news. You were all so happy. And your family was so happy. Your grandmother simply lived for that pregnancy. I didn't want to disappoint you. 
What were you thinking? To keep up the lie in that fashion? And then what? Tell me, when our baby died, did you feel anything? I almost died myself. I think I understand now why you went to your mother's. You needed some time to get your hands on that fake belly. You put it on. You deceived everyone here. And then what? A trip to Israel? For what purpose? I wasn't feeling well at that time. I wanted to get some treatment. I thought you'd come and then I'd get pregnant again. It's over between us. do I do? How do I even tell him this? Where is he? Hello? Good evening. I'm sorry for calling so late. I'd like to talk to Dennis. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dennis is not home right now. Uh, nobody's home, actually. Oh, oh, you won't believe what's happening here. But I'm not really supposed to tell you anything about it. Uh, I'm sorry. Have a good evening. What was that all about? It looks like a film with our baby as the star of the show. Incredible. When I was just six years old, I saw this fantastic drawing in a children's book called Tales. It was all about the tropical forests. May I touch it? I'll be gentle. Of course you can touch. How? How could she do this to me? <clears throat> All right, get up. Enough suffering. The sorrow is yours most of all. You're the one who lost the baby. Your second baby now. They don't have any right to be judging you. Risha. Yes? Never mind me. Please go home and get your rest. I get nervous. You get tired easily. You can't do it. Mother, huh. I want to be here right now, by your side. I feel perfectly fine. I swear it. Huh. The scan is all right. That's good to know. Mommy and I were really praying hard for Grandma to be okay. We'll stabilize her blood pressure, keep her here for a little while longer, and then we'll see. Thank you, thank you, Boris Natanovich. May I see her now? Yes, but remember, no strong emotions. Let's go in. Right, what can I say here? We've all been shaken up. 
But fortunately, no real damage has been caused. There was no stroke, it was a hypertensive crisis. So we can only thank you for calling us on time. Right now, I'll go prescribe her some medicine for future treatment, and I'll ask you not to disturb the patient. She needs her peace and quiet at the moment, all right? Okay. Grandmother, where is... where is Dennis? What, is he with her? Lera? Oh, okay, I'll call him, calm him down, you know. He must be climbing the walls after all this. Hi, Dennis. The doctor said it wasn't a stroke. She's fine. She's asking where you are. All right. Mom, Dennis is at the hospital already. He'll be here soon. I just don't understand it. I don't understand how she could conceal the fact that she was no longer expecting her baby. Mother, don't think about it. What's important now is that you are well. Does she think that we're animals? That we'd kick her out of the house? They contacted Carolina while she was in a meeting. Her grandmother was in the hospital. Carolina dropped everything and left. What do you think? Has my sister left for Israel already? I don't think so. What more, I have a feeling Carolina's grandma is in the hospital because of your sister. Do you think they found out that she isn't really pregnant? It could be. If only the lies could finally be exposed. Mother, do you want some water? Hmm? Or juice? Zana called. She said she has prepared some fresh chicken soup. Do you want us to bring you some? Thank you. <laughs> What do you think you're doing here? This is no place for you. I came because I wanted to apologize. You're a liar! Shh, 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 shh. You're the biggest liar in the world! You chose a bad time! I... I couldn't bring myself to tell you about the... miscarriage because I was afraid to upset you. Upset? Well, naturally, we all would be upset. We would have grieved with you, but what did you do? It became a charade for you. You pretended to still be pregnant. You lied to us. That's a crime, you know. It's a crime. Don't you Get even see how serious here. this is? We shall throw her out of the Mom, room. please, at least you could be. I'm begging you, Anna. Leave us. Go away. Risha. <gasps> Mother. Why did you come here? Oh, I was worried about your grandmother. Because of me, she's not feeling well. I wanted to apologize. You're worried about my grandmother? You're joking. You're incapable of that. You only think of yourself. And your apologies mean nothing. No, I really wanted to say sorry. I'm so ashamed, I swear. I was just afraid to admit that I, I had a miscarriage. Your tears don't affect me anymore. You'd better get out. No way, Dennis. I beg of you, please listen to me. It would be better for us all if you moved back in with your mother right now. I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's over. 